Hello, my fellow viewers. Welcome back to Expert TV. I'm back again to discuss about the immigrant visa and the um, green card visa. All right, the topic we're having under the immigrant visa and the green card visa today is how you can be qualified to enter the diversity visa program. Yes, that's what we're going to discuss today. All right, so before we continue talking about that, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. All right, thank you for doing that. All right, today we have about five points to discuss about the how, about how to qualify for the diversity visa program. So the five points, I'll be mentioning one of the points right now. The one of the points is you are, are you, sorry, you are from, you must be from a qualifying country. A qualifying country, which means your country must be qualified for diversity visa program before you jump into it. All right, before to, to, to know those countries who are not qualified, I will mention them right now. So if possible, you you find your country not listed in this uh, in listed on the on my screen, then you are qualified to apply for the diversity visa program. Kindly exercise patience while I show you the countries that are not qualified for the diversity visa program. All right, I'll I'll start by mentioning the countries now. But before then, I will mention a I will name a country that has been removed from country that are not qualified the country was removed year 2020 so which they will be able to qualify to apply for the diversity lottery of year 2022 the name of this country is Guatemala. Guatemala are now eligible to enter the diversity program of 2020 green card lottery so and um, i will mention the native country that are not eligible right now so the native of the following countries which are in which are excluded from entering the diversity 2020 visa lottery program this year which is this year year 2020 will be bangladesh brazil canada china colombia and from china it is um, only mainland i mean it's only mainland those who are from china mainland are not eligible to apply for the diversity visa lottery all right and also colombia dominican republic el Salvador, haiti india jamaica mexico nigeria pakistan peru Philippines, South Korea, United Kingdom, except Northern Ireland, and Vietnam. Note that United Kingdom includes the following department area. I mean, dependent area, which is Angola, Bermuda, British Virgin Island, Cayman Island, Falkland Island, Gibata. Most Rat, Pisty Crime, ST Elan, Elena, and Trucks, and Cassius Island, and Northern Island does not qualify. All right, those are the countries that are not qualified to apply for the DV program of year 2020. All right, so we'll be going back to the next point. The next point we'll be discussing about today is. The next point we'll be discussing about today is do you have a high school education because in order to qualify for the diversity visa program you need to be qualified for you need to be qualified with your high school education or a work experience however some some believe that if they have a work experience they don't need high school actually there are some countries who do not accept that you need a high school education in order to qualify to get a visa if you don't have a high school and you have a working experience at least two years working experience in some countries it's not accepted and in some countries and u.s embassy you are accepted to use your two years work experience to be a, as a qualification as, a, as an education qualification to qualify for the dv program with your education if you do not have either 
the required education or qualifying work experience you are not qualified to be issued a diversity visa so do you get that and only you as a principal applicant must meet the requirement your your spouse sorry your spouse and children do not have to meet this requirement you should not continue with your dv application if you do not meet the qualifying education of work experience requirement is explaining below so i'll be explaining what you need in order to be qualified as a um uh, with your education all right to qualify with your education or work experience you need a high school education a high school education means successful completion of a former course of complementary and secondary education comparable to completion of a two years courses in the united states so that will qualify you as a high school education so if you have a work experience for for work experience if you are qualifying with your work experience you must have two years of experience in the last five years in an occupation which by u.s department of labor definition requires at least two years of training or experience that is designated as job job zone four or five so to qualify to qualify in a specific vocational preparation how which is which will be rating you as 7.0 or higher so if you have this if you have this working as work experience that is being required you will be getting a score of 7.0 or i so if you have 7.0 added added to the questions the consulate will be asking you and with other requirements like uh, like medical examination you will be issued a visa so uh we'll be talking about uh, where you can confirm your work experience and the type of job that is being required by the United States. So what I'll be discussing now, I'll, sh I'll give you I'll, on my screen, I will provide the website which you need to enter to, con to confirm if your work experience is tally with the United States work uh, uh, requirement. So in order to check that, enter www.1tonline.org, that's .org. I will put it on my screen so that you'll be able to get a website and check it and find out if you are qualified to apply for the diversity visa program. All right, the the all net online database group work experience into five job zones. So while many occupations are listed, only certain specified specified occupation qualifies for the diversity visa program. So how to find the qualifying occupation on the Department of Labor website? qualifying DV occupation as shown on the department of labor on net online database which i already provide you the website the website is www.1tonline.org so when you enter the website you'll be able to check the follow step and when you are and find out if you are your occupation is qualified so Number one option under this qualification, under the qualification, under I mean, in order to check the website to know if you if you are qualified for the work experience, click on uh, click on under find occupation when you check the website. Under find occupation, select job family. When you select job family from the pull down, then browse by job family. For example, select architect and engineering, and click on go. So when you click on go, it will display the requirement and then um, your experience what you the experience you need in order to qualify for that architectural and engineering so then click on the link click on the link for your specific occupation as an example select aero aerospace engineer aerospace engineer at the bottom of this summary report for an aerospace engineer under the job zone section you will find the designate job zone job zone four which is X at which is SVP range, so which means you'll be scoring within the range of 7.0 to 8.0 as an aerospace engineer. This means using the example, aerospace engineer is qualifying you as uh, to get a diversity visa lottery. And again, there's a warning you should not continue with your diversity application if you do not meet the qualification education or work experience requirement explained ab explain above you will not be issued a visa so if you make an attempt any fee you pay will not be refunded that does it
all right so for that that's all about the qualifications the next point now i've made mention of two points so the next point which is the third point is your you should enter your information only once that will qualify you to be participating in the diversity visa program you should enter your information only once which means when you apply for the diversity diversity visa lottery if you are applying as a single applicant when you submit immediately you click on submit and get your confirmation page just save it is it that you print it out or you save it then close the page forever until the day the result will be out don't make any attempt of applying again and don't let any of your siblings or or your friend apply for you if 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 you already applied so that, try to avoid that in order to be disqualified from entering the diversity visa program all right so the fourth option which is use a recent photo make sure that like now if you have not if you did not win the diversity visa lottery in the previous year and you still have your passport in your email delete the passport immediately delete the passport photograph and go to the uh, go to the the photography studio or find a way to get a new passport so when you have a new passport then you are qualified to participate in the diversity visa program so the fifth option which is provide a valid passport information that is very important please you must provide a valid passport information the passport number must not must be tally with what is on your paper book i mean on your passport book you must make sure that the passport number is correct and then the name according to how it is being written on your passport do not make any mistake a mistake will disqualify you from from participating in diversity visa program all right i think that is well explanatory if you find this educative please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell thank you Let's call it in the crossfire